Hi everybody, welcome back to Bearded Reef, my name is Ross. In this video, I've got a new fish for the tank and I can't wait to show you guys it. Okay, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Like I said there, my name's Ross and this is Bearded Reef. So you might notice this video, I've got the white lights on just now. Um, quite a few people had asked for me to put the white lights on for the video. Um, a lot of people like to see the tank under white, I think. I think it's more honest, um, it's showing a bit more of the tank. So in this video, I will show you quite a lot of clips of the tank under white lights. I'll also show you some blue as well. But yeah, um, before we get going with the new fish, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers again. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please if you could consider doing that, it means a massive amount to me. Um, it also helps show YouTube that you like watching the videos and it shows them to other people as well. On that note, if you could give a massive thumbs up in the video as well, um, it's just down below. Both those things are free to do, they're easy to do, just click that like and subscribe. So yeah, thank you very much. Anyway, new fish time. So I want to give a massive shout out to Nessie's Lair here. So I was over at Nessie's Lair the other day and managed to pick up a brand new fish for my tank. Um, as you'll have seen in the thumbnail and the title, it's the Hellfricky Firefish. So the Hellfricky is absolutely stunning. It's a really, really nice looking fish. Um, a very expensive fish and quite a hard to find fish, but really, really, really nice. So I'm not going to blather on loads before this video. I'll try and keep this video relatively short. I know my last few have been quite long, so we'll try and keep this one a bit shorter anyway. But yeah, I just want to show you guys the fish. I also got a new coral as well, which I'll show you in this clip. Um, but yeah, we'll jump into that just now and let you see it. So yeah, this is my uh, health Ricky Firefish. As you can see here from the video, there's still quite a bit of algae in the tank. Um, Cyano's starting to come in as well, but this fish has literally just been added as I've took this video, so colours still aren't great. They're not popping as they should be, but I just wanted to put this video out there and let you guys see it anyway. So I'll give you a bit of information on the firefish and show you what it's like. So yeah, the Hellfricky firefish have been marine favourites for many, many years now actually. Um, they're really, really nicely coloured, peaceful towards other fish. They're small enough to be easily housed in most aquariums, I would say. Um, easy to feed and they're not prone to disease really. So the other good thing about them, they don't pose any threat to invertebrates and they're ideal for reef aquariums. So really the best of all worlds there. They're not completely without their disadvantages though. Um, they are quite shy and you really should keep them with fish of a similar temperament. Um, if they're kind of startled or scared by any other fish then they're likely to jump out of the aquarium. So they will find any tiny gaps between the covers. You'll need to make sure you've got an extremely tight fitting lid. Um, I've actually put a slight little bit of perspex just covering a little gap so that everything is covered in mine so fingers crossed it won't jump out. Um, in the wild they are reported to be found kind of close to the seabed um, over any kind of sand or rubble patches usually at the base of any kind of steep slopes um, kind of similar to all other high habitats that you would get firefish in but these range to a much greater depth so they usually live at depths ranging from between kind of 25 to 100 metres um, but they're rarely found less than 40 metres down so they are quite deep water fish um, they're found within the tropical reefs of the Indo-Pacific and can be observed usually kind of darting in and out of various caves crevices kind of cruising along close to the reef while looking for any food within the water column. So they're a relatively straightforward species to keep. Um, they only really have two key requirements like I mentioned earlier. A really tight fitting lid, that is the key thing that you need for these guys, and tank mates of a kind of peaceful nature. Um, if you keep them in more large kind of boisterous fish such as tangs and so on, um, it can be a hit or a miss. They're unlikely to pay attention to the firefish. But although they can get used to them, um, the kind of outcome of that one is the firefish will be intimidated by the bigger tank mates and you'll not see it much to be often. So like all the firefish, um, the Helfricky prefers to have shelter in the form of rocks, caves, kind of close by to it. So it doesn't like big open spaces, it will like to be close to any rocks or caves that's there. Um, like I said earlier, it's harmless to all invertebrates and it's an ideal fish for reef aquariums. Again, I wouldn't house it with any large predatory shrimps or so on, just in case. Um, that's why I've took the arrow crab out of my tank. But feeding is also straightforward, so they'll take um, frozen crustaceans of a suitable size really, such as brine shrimp, copepods, um, finely chopped mysis, krill, um, 
they're all kind of good staple foods for it but they will also take flake food provided it's kind of broken into small enough pieces and preferably presented in the kind of water column midway um, as they kind of have difficulty learning to feed from the surface so it is the smallest of all the firefish um, it grows to a maximum size of about six centimeters that's just over kind of two inches um, and it can be housed in nano reef aquariums so they recommend a minimum size of 10 gallons for these um, my tank's a 15 gallon that i've got it in so should be okay in there. Um, you do need to take extra care when you're putting fish in a small tank though just to make sure that you're not overcrowding it and that they all get on because it's a confined space obviously. So given that it's such a beautiful and undemanding fish, why do we not really know much about it? Well, I think the answer lies in two factors that determine its high price and its availability. So the geographical distribution and the depths at which it usually lives in. So in terms of its geography, its native range is miles and miles and miles away from its usual areas for the aquarium trade collection. Add to this that it's rarely found at less than 40 metres deep and there's your recipe for a rarely available expensive fish. Um, a lot of people don't really see these, I mean here in the UK, if anything it's less commonly offered here than it is in the US I would say and therefore commands a higher price. This was the first one I'd ever really seen in person um, and when you see them up and close you can understand the asking price of them. Now in the UK these fish sell up for up to about £200 each um, but once you see one in person you'll understand why and in my opinion I think it's worth it. So there we have it, that's the Hellfricky Firefish. Um, while rare, expensive, it is a beautiful species. Um, they don't present any difficulties to the experienced aquarium keeper and beginners along the same. Um, despite its price, it does deserve to be more popular, so I do highly recommend these fish, I think they're fantastic. Anyway, I think I've blurred all along enough about this one, so that is really the overview of the Health Ricky. Okay, so I just want to quickly show you um, the torch that I've got the TCK Master now. I did have to take that out and dip it. Um, I found some flatworm on that again, so I don't know if I'd missed some eggs maybe that was on that, but not a big deal, I've took it out and dipped it, that's why it's sulking there, I literally just put it in before I filmed this video. So it's sulked a wee bit, but no big deal, it'll get back to normal soon. Um, up here we now have my new coral that I got. So this is a branching hammer, which is the reverse stem basically, branching hammer that I've got. Um, again from Nessie's Lair, and this is an absolutely stunning little piece. These are actually relatively cheap. Um, compared to a lot of other euphilias, but I've got this double head one here, so we'll see how this turns out. I actually really, really like the colours on it. Again, the camera doesn't really do it great justice, but it is a stunning, stunning little piece, and hopefully it'll be a great addition to the tank. So, this next one here is the Blasto that I got from Nessie's Lair. Um, again, the colours on this are phenomenal. I just wanted to stick this in here and let you guys see it, but this is a, a highly thought sought after piece that I've seen, so... Yeah, it's a really nice one. Okay, so there we have it. That is the new firefish and the new hammer coral that's been added to the tank. Um, both of them absolutely stunning bits. I think you'll agree with that one. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this tank a bit more under whites. I know the tank looks absolutely terrible just now due to the cyano and the algae that's still there. That is slowly starting to go away. Um, things are looking slightly better in the tank, although if you've just joined the channel, you probably won't have noticed that, but it is getting better. So. Fingers crossed over the next few weeks, months, we can get the tank back to looking really good again and be really happy with it. Now, I do absolutely love this little water box, it's fantastic, but it's one of those things that when you get algae, cyano and so on, it does start to take, not its toll on you, but it starts to get you down a little bit. I'm not getting down on this one, I still really, really love the tank, I really love watching it. Fish inside are amazing. The Hell fricky has been a fantastic addition to this tank. Um, he's been named Ricky, the Hell fricky, so... That's the fish got a name now. So we've got Rossum the Possum, Cookie and Cream the Clownfish, and Ricky the Hill Fricky. So that's the four fish that we've got in the tank. Um, I've also moved the Arrowhead Crab. I'll show you a quick clip of that just now. I just moved it into the crab tank that we had the Halloween Hermit Crab in, just purely so that it doesn't take any risks with such an expensive fish. I don't really want to risk, you know, the, the crab eating the Hill Fricky. So it's been moved over there, um, but like I say, fingers crossed we'll put that back in again. It has um, molted, as you've seen in that little clip there. So we've got the crab on the right hand side that is the bigger version of the live crab actually, and the one on the left is the molt, so it's not two crabs in there, it's only one. 
But yeah, that is the, the tank as it is just now. So like I said, I want to keep this video relatively short, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Um, just a little quick one anyway. But such an incredible fish. If you do want one like that, like I said, head over to Nessie's Lair website. Um, use the code BEADREDEEF10, you'll get 10% off. You can go and visit them in person as well, but huge thanks to Nessie's Lair for that one. Um, yeah, so that's really it for this video, folks. Um, hope you're all doing well out there. Hope you're all staying safe. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.